What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I stumbled across Richard Allen's video about the conditions of the offering and whether they can or can't offer any more shares. He has plenty good videos on companies like Nano Dimension and others, so if you don't already, go ahead and check them out. So while I do agree there are certain conditions that need to be met, it's not 100% guaranteed that they won't offer anything between now and December 27th, or 30 days from now. Also, I would have used a more current document than the one from October 26th. I would have instead gone with the document from November 23rd, and I have pulled that up for you guys. So this article shows the first 16 million shares that they offered in uh, late October. So after this offering, we were going to go from 54 million shares up to 71 million shares. The most recent offering that we saw on November 19th brought us from that 71 million shares up to 96 million shares. So these shares were specific to the $100 million offering. So yes, guys, while it's totally possible that we might not see an offering in the next 30 days, I would not rule it completely out of the realm of possibilities. We see in the plan of distribution in these offerings that they do have these uh, fine prints. We have agreed subject to certain exceptions that we or our subsidiaries will not within 30 days following the closing of this offering issue any equity securities or securities convertible into equity securities. And this is following the most recent $100 million registered direct offering. If we look at the one in October, if we look at the one in October, we'll see a similar statement. We have agreed subject to certain conditions that we will not within 30 days following this closing offering issue new securities. We will see that statement again, subject to certain customary exceptions. So while yes, I do agree that it is uh, very likely we won't see another offering for several weeks, it's not completely out of the realm of possibilities. So again, this is just something you guys have to understand. There is things in the fine print that you can easily skip over, and I believe that this is one of them. It has pretty much been spot on at 30 days. I think the raise from $2.30 to $3 only took about 23 days. And 30 days from today is Sunday, December 27th, so we are looking at right around Christmas. So I think between now and Christmas, we are definitely going to see a bull run. I will be doing a video on price targets to aim for between now and then. I will be releasing that in a separate video, however. So if you do want to watch that, then I would recommend you subscribe to the channel. But besides guaranteeing that it will take at least 30 days, I do agree with Richard Allen. If we don't see any cash raise or a direct offering of any kind for the next 30 days, that just gives the uh, stock price 30 days to run by itself freely, and it's just up to investors to decide how much they want to pay for the stock. And if those investors are all hyped up about this company, then we could definitely see the price run up way harder than we've already seen. But that is it for this video. Shout out to Richard Allen. Keep doing what you're doing. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed what you're watching, and you should even consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified when I make videos just like this one. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.